Hi Cancer and happy birthday to those who are celebrating. We're going to do some love messages for Cancer. And then what we're going to, a lot of times, okay, so when I do a reading, a general reading, the cards will tell me the situation, right, for Cancer, a, a sector or a group of Cancers, anyway. Um, but a lot of times we don't get uh, messages of advice. So what I've done is I'm going to ask this deck, you know, of course, for the situation at hand. And then we're going to follow up with this deck with advice. How should Cancer move? What should they do? Okay. So let's go. Let's get started. Uh, thank you to those who like, share, comment, subscribe to the channel. It's much appreciated. All of my information is below if you need to contact me for a personal reading or any other reason. Okay. Okay. Let's go. What are, what are the love messages for Cancer? What's going on for Cancer? The Collective Cancer. All right. Queen of Fire. That fire sign is showing up. Sagittarius. In particular, the Sagittarius Leo Aries could be a man, could be a woman. Very attractive, charismatic, outgoing. Five of Earth. Now, either you feel like the Sun Moon horizon also with this fire sign. You, either you feel like you're left out, or you cut them out, or they cut you out. Someone's been shut out. Communication is off, right? Ten of water. But you're trying to, whoa, remain happy, remain functional. Sometimes, okay, this card definitely wants to come out. The ten of water or the ten of uh, cups talks about pseudo happiness, false happiness, the outward appearance of a situation. The nine of water. Definitely. Um, you may be appearing happy, but you're longing and wishing for possibly maybe this fire sign or someone else or something else, another situation. There was change in the midst of how you dealt with or how you're dealing with maybe a fire sign, sun, moon, or rising. Uh, for some of you, there is a water sign that you just find ultimate and the highest level of happiness with Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, like yourself. There could have been childbirth. It's just happiness in the home. Right. Um, the world card is here. For some of you, a chapter has ended. You don't want to let it end. A chapter of how you dealt with a certain person, how you're dealing with a certain situation has ended. Yeah, ten of air. It is over. You can no longer stay in that same stagnant energy, that same stagnant mindset. Um, if you met them and you guys were, you know, friends with benefits. Um, and it was for years either you or someone else wants something more so you either transform the relationship the devil um, the death card or you understand that the world is here you've gone as far as you can go in that cycle you're either going to start something anew maybe with someone new or you're going to start something new with this person the Ten of Air. There's been betrayal, maybe with an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. There's an ending. You can no longer be frustrated, mentally taxed and stressed by this person, this issue. Nine, two nines, nine of fire, nine of air. Um, you've been through a lot, maybe with this air sign. But you're still mentally... Um, they keep you up at night. Some of you need to check on your health too. Some blood work. Maybe diabetic. Diabetes. Something is very painful. Something is keeping you up at night. You got low energy in regards to maybe a love situation. Or dealing with maybe a fire sign. Or someone with fire in their chart. Three of air. Yeah. You know you have to let this go. There's something or someone else in the midst of this relationship eight of air but you can't you can't possibly see how you can let it go three of fire but the cards are saying that you're longing for either communication a new spark maybe with this fire sign you might be with an air sign gemini libra aquarius and you're longing for recognition a victory some success with the fire sign 
or vice versa. So when you're dealing with this, doing this with you, Queen of Water, yeah, that's Cancer, Queen of Water. You're definitely wanting to a water um, this soulmate connection with possibly a, a fire sign. Page of Earth. There might be a message of stability, of wanting to start something and really finish it. it might come in for you. Five of Air. Um, the the heavy battling, the ego. It has to be broken down. Yeah. Three of Earth and the Queen of of Air. Also, there's someone here, either on your end cancer or on the other person's end the obstacle is not only the ego and the the battle that nobody really wins but it is the person that you're already partnered to which could be a gemini libra aquarius ace of fire you're really trying to manifest a new passionate start either with a some of you is with an Aquarius. You want to heal. You want to move forward. You think about this person. You fantasize about this person. Um, there's a lot of illusions uh, surrounding this person. You dream about this person. Or vice versa. They dream about you. Eight of water. Um, yeah, you might emotionally check out on where you are. Let's see. Ten of, of from a, a long standing relationship. Right. Um, but some because some of you are just bored. You know that an ending is here. It needs to end so that you can have it. who or exactly what you want for your life. But it starts with you, Cancer. Okay, so that's the issue. That that's what's going on here. Let's see what the advice is. Let's see what spirit has to say in regards to what you should do, um, how you should move in this situation, okay? Thank you, Lord God, for the advice for cancer. What should cancer do? What should cancer do? Should they leave a current situation for some... What should cancer do? I'm hearing just let it all fall down. Hmm. Well, I don't know who that's for. These cards don't want to shuffle today. Ooh, someone didn't want the answers. What should cancer do? What's the advice for cancer? What's the advice for cancer? What's the advice for cancer? Alright. What's the advice for cancer? Okay. Bottom of the deck. Page of Cups. Talks about coming to someone with loving messages. Could it even be an apology? Could be just the start of, hey, you know, I really like you. Or, you know, I really love you. Can we start to get back to a place of whatever? Could be with another Cancer Pisces Scorpio like yourself. I knew the Wheel of Fortune was coming up. I knew the Wheel of Fortune was coming up because I heard just let it all fall down. The Wheel of Fortune talks about destiny and just letting things come in as they should. Going with the flow, which is sometimes hard for anyone. Uh, we love to be in control. We love to be able to manipulate the energy. Um, the cards, the advice says go with the flow. What is going to happen will happen. What's supposed to happen is happening. Three of Wands, yeah. It looks like for some of you, it's like you're letting it fall down. You're leaving behind whatever here is what, what was established with the three of wands. And some of you are just choosing yourself, choosing to be single, choosing to leave behind partnership, uh, longing for um, communication, longing for your ships to come in, longing to get what you deserve. 
a page of wands nice uh, a message of action to take action and a conditional message will come in from you maybe from that fire sign someone who may be younger than you more energetic more lively they're into the arts they charismatic outgoing um, the message may make you just want to emotionally walk away or physically walk away from um, an established situation. These cups are out uh, upright. For the people looking in from the outside, it looks like you're walking away from a, an upright situation. A situation that's so great and so grand. But only you know with the moon here, you being a moon child, being governed by the moon, you know the issues in the midst of these cups. Uh, and that's why you've, you've chosen to walk away. Uh, it's like, you know, when people are looking in from the outside in regards to any situation, it may look one way like, oh, they have the life, they have this, they have that, they're so happy. But you know what goes on behind closed doors. You know how you feel. You know the conversations. You know the arguments. You know what you've dealt with. You know what you've swept under the rug. You know what you've allowed. You know what you've done also cancer so um that's what that eight of cups is about um it says you might want to just go forward and extend yourself it, it may very well turn out really well for you we've got you and we got that fire sign again so uh sun moon arising um yeah that's the advice for you guys okay extend yourself it looks like it'll turn out good all right cancer if you felt like this message was for you or gave you a bit of clarity and you want to get your energy and expound on that all of my information is below remember to comment comment below that enters you to win a free reading even if you just say hi or thank you um everything of how to contact me how to um how to uh donate to the channel is below insta go all of that okay so cancer remember to stay in prayer pray when in doubt i am praying for you pray for me as well take care